cancer and reproductive harm. Okay, that's a bit alarming. We'll say a prayer over this later with some oil. <laughs> Whew. Hair still tight, hair still tight. Hey Siri. Here's what I found. Are you gonna say it? Hey Siri. This is why I don't talk to you. Bye. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thank but <laughs> and to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we are talking texture, and I am way too eager to show you my finds, so let's just hop right on in. This first piece is whew, so good. I love a porous finish. I mean, hello. Look at, you been chewing on this shit before you came in? My top literally has holes everywhere, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yes, this top was strategically planned for this video. And no, unfortunately, I don't have a link. In case anybody cares, it came from ASOS. I literally got this like four years ago. Found it in my closet and was like, hmm, never worn this before. So I just threw it on because it fit the video. Back to the subject at hand. Okay, ring falling off. <laughs> Take two. Back to the subject at hand. When I saw this piece, I legit gasped. Like, <gasps> are you kidding? I feel like I only see this kind of stuff on Pinterest. Like what? And you will never guess where this came from. Never. Well, if you follow me on Instagram and look at my stories, you probably know. But if you don't, this came from Ross, y'all. Yeah. Pick it up. What? Your bottom jaw. <laughs> Ross. Ross, dress for less. I found this there. This is like everything I love in one. It's porous. It's sculptural. We have some curves, some texture. I am so obsessed with it. It was only $11.99. And I took full advantage. I bought this piece. Not once, not twice, not thrice, but a bunch of times. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> I traveled to three different locations and bought every one I saw. I love it that much. But why, Andrea? Because I want them in multiple places. I definitely want to feature this in one of my bookcases, which will be refreshed soon. I feel like it's going to add a different shape, all that texture. Like, I don't even think I gave you guys a close up. Like, are you serious? And these are legit holes in this. Amazing. It's not super fragile either. I mean, it's pretty, I want to say it's resin. Cancer and reproductive harm. Okay, that's a bit alarming. We'll say a prayer over this later with some oil. <laughs> but yeah, I love it so much. Like I said, I'm going to put this in my bookcase. I feel like it's going to pair so well with my vessel that I got from Crate and Barrel a while back. Let me get it so I can show you guys. So I showed you guys this before. This is a vessel I got from Crate and Barrel. It's still available, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll link it down below. But look how these... Look how good these look together. So I can put this on one side and this on the other so they like coordinate but they're not twinsies, you know? You know how you buy a shirt and you're like, mm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear with that but I know I have to have it. And then later you find the shoes that go perfectly with that. That's what this duo is giving, like amazing. I also got multiples because I think these would be stunning as wall fixtures. I have been loving that lately. Studio Oliver Gustav, um, a designer that I have mentioned here on my channel before, he does a lot of that in his studio and I kind of want to channel that energy. Like can you imagine a lime washed wall, kind of like how my painting looks back here with these on the side? <gasps> so cute, even like above a mantle on either side of a mirror. It I just have so many plans for this and as soon as I find out where I want to mount them, I'm definitely going to do it. Might be in my bedroom. 
because I kind of want to change some stuff up in there too. But I'll keep you guys posted on that. Needless to say, I love this piece. Can't believe I found it for such a great price. So if you have a Ross near you, I suggest you finish this video first and then run to your nearest one. Phone a friend, do whatever you need to do, okay? Because, <laughs> okay guys, so I ordered an eight foot tree. Faux, of course, because you know plants, they don't survive <laughs> over here. And I needed a nice planter to put it in so people think it's real, you know? I was looking on Pinterest and I really wanted like a travertine trough, trough? Is that, how, is that how you say it? Hey Siri, how do you pronounce T-R-O-U-G-H? Here's what I found. Are you gonna say it? Hey Siri, pronounce trough. Okay, I found this on the web for pronounce trough. Check it out. Trough. Is it trough or trough? Hey Siri, is it trough or trough? Okay, I found this on the web for is it truffle or trough? Check Ooh. it out. This is why I don't talk to you, bye. I think it's pronounced trough, but have you seen the prices for those? No ma'am, one day, but not today. So I went to good old home goods and found this planter. Bear with me because it's actually pretty heavy and quite substantial though. Ugh. Okay. Hair still tight, hair still tight. <laughs> so here she is, I love it. Not gonna lie, I was gonna try to do like a DIY to make it more Wabi-esque, like that smoky. <sighs> Nicely blended finish that I love so much. Kind of like the Wabi vessels I have here in my home. But honestly, I think I'm gonna let it live because it really looks antique. Like it's been through some stuff. I only paid $24.99 for this. Pretty sure it was marked wrong, but that's not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. But it's a win for me. It's really giving antique s'mores vibes. So yeah, I had to grab it. I love it. I don't think it's too big where I can't use it like on my kitchen island, but it's not too small where it won't make sense for the tree I got, hopefully. So yeah, can't wait for my tree to come in. Actually, now that I look at it, this might be too little for an eight foot tree. But I'm not returning it because it was such a great price and I love the finish on it. Um, so we'll use it for something else. So speaking of a Wabi-esque, smoky terracotta finish, excuse me. Like I said, I love a good Wabi-esque, moody, smoky piece. So I had to get my hands on this next one. This little candle holder is from Zara Home and I think it is the most adorable thing. First of all, let's get into the texture. Okay. And I love the color variation of it. Like I said, it's that smoky, like, I just loved how aged and bold this looks. I actually got this on sale for $10. It's normally $25 for this size. Now these did sell out, but they've been trickling in little by little. I actually just ordered two more today. So I will link it down below and just save it to your wish list in case it comes back in stock. But I just love it. I think it's the cutest thing. I love to mix these kind of pieces in with my more modern pieces to kind of mix it up and give that I think the term is nostalgia. I think that's what it is, um, which I really feel like that's what my design aesthetic is. Just mixing a whole bunch of antique, modern, wobby. It's just a mod podge, hodgepodge, hodgepodge, mod podge. It's a melting pot of design aesthetics. They actually <laughs> sent this little tea light candle in here with this, which I guess it was nice. Um, so I can clearly put a tea light candle in here and set the mood or just simply put this on top of some books and still have a moment. Love that. Now, one thing's for certain, two things for sure. If I love something, I'm going to buy it more than once. I bought this piece four times. I actually just ordered two more today. Case in point. I actually bought these before. I bought this size and the bigger one. I shared it maybe like 
a year or two ago with you guys when i saw it again i was equally as impelled to purchase so i did i just love a good sphere i feel like these add such a different element to your space and i love the irregular roundness of this you can see it has like a little pokage over here but it's not equally as pokagey over here <laughs> This was only $14.99 at Home Goods in the garden section. I'm still not keen on the color of this. My other ones are still sitting in the same finish because I didn't know what color I wanted to go with. And now that I have three, I feel like I can do it now because I have options and I can switch them out whenever I feel like switching up the color. So while the color isn't my favorite, the texture definitely is. I love it. You can stick these on coffee tables, console tables, nightstands, even on the floor, and they add an impact and they look so good. So yeah, love this. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I hope this video inspired you to add some texture to your home. I hope you guys can find that first piece, especially because I'm still mind blown over it. Like, wow. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.